starting in the 27th position. Since 1969, the best snowmobile racers in North America, and occasionally from Europe, have been gathering here in an isolated corner of the state of Michigan. The International 500 is the top tier of ice track racing, 800 kilometers around an oval track. Just finishing is victory enough for many competitors. Well, it's a big mental challenge. I mean, there's a lot of times where you just, you almost zone out. It's like, I just, I'm, your body tells you you want to be done, but you got to push through it and keep going. As ever, a local U.S. military veteran flags the start and the race is on. They're called snowmobiles, but today they're racing on solid ice. Preparing for the event, organizers pump 8 million liters of water onto the track. Going fast is all about hard ice and temperature. Their tracks on their snowmobiles have studs that are like this and they grip the ice. Now, what's unique about this track is it's the only mile oval snowmobile endurance track in North America. The race draws thousands from both sides of the Canada-US border. Most families up here own a snowmobile and watching them race is popular. More than just speed and maneuverability, drivers have to manage their fuel and mechanical needs. Taking a pit stop only when it won't cost them too much precious time racing with the pack. So it's late afternoon and the snow is falling quite heavily. We're about 80% done, uh, 600 kilometers. This is a part of the race that is both more competitive and much more dangerous. As the track gets bumpier, it's much easier to crash. This was the worst this year, a driver with a painful shoulder injury, a snowmobile in need of serious repairs. The race is grueling, risky and dangerous. The best exercise is to get seat time. Go out and ride your snowmobile and get, get all the muscles you can't find in a gym. A field of 36 snowmobiles was down to less than half that number when the checkered flag finally signaled the end of an icy endurance test for both man and machine. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan.